game. Yeah, a lot of people walking up those hills up and down from the dome. Yeah, that's not going to be that's not going to be pleasant. Yeah, I would say don't cancel your plans. This is not going to have a huge Good. impact. It may be slushy, it may be icy. We'll see how heavy and intense that wintry mix is going to be. But here's how I'm breaking it down. Walking up to the game, so we're talking five, six o'clock, mostly a light snow, 30 degrees. Around tip off, seven o'clock, likely some sleet for the walk back. Mostly a light freezing rain, but notice the temperature still below freezing, so you might have to do some scraping of ice off your car as you walk back, and there could be some slick spots. I'm sure they'll be out salting the roads, also a brisk breeze. So far from optimal conditions, but far from what we had last Tuesday night. Remember that heavy wintry precipitation maker, the snow, then the sleet and freezing rain, which uh, really crippled our city there for a while. This is not crippling this evening, some light snow. No advisories from this. A quick inch, though, early this evening in Oswego County, light fluffy flakes. Here's Fossil Service Experts live triple Doppler radar. Now that is going to retreat up closer to the lake as it lifts to the north with a shifting wind. We may get a little partial sun early tomorrow morning. There's not going to be much because the clouds are already racing in our direction. And here's the wintry precipitation. The rain, which will run into the cold air and change over to snow, and that snow is coming this way. And I think it will be here by the time we get to the early afternoon. Uh, in through the Finger Lakes and well to the south and late afternoon further to the northeast. We're at 20 degrees right now. There's a, once again a northerly wind flow to start the daytime tomorrow and that's going to get tough to push out. This warmer air is trying to move on in and eventually it does win out. We'll climb into the 40s warmer than we have with that last system. So here's what you need to know. Snow develops tomorrow afternoon. Icy change from that snow to rain, but we think by midnight Syracuse should be above freezing with just rain. We'll find a milder Tuesday morning or Thursday morning, briefly into the 40s. It'll be breezy, maybe actually a couple of scattered flurries around during the day. So Tuesday this evening at 10 o'clock, still some light lake effect snow showers or flurries in Oswego County, maybe coastal Jefferson County, but those come to an end. It's quiet here for a while before the clouds come in towards tomorrow morning. Quiet tomorrow morning, not a lot of wind, temperatures on the chilly side for sure, but maybe you want to get a jog in, really not going to have any problems there. It's during the afternoon, there's the light snow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon moving through the region, may briefly pick up and be moderate, probably a small amount of a snowfall and then a small glazing of ice as we see the sleet and freezing rain before we go over to the rain. Here's the snowfall projection, the first part of the storm, a trace to an inch. That's it for Syracuse. The reason we have the weather alert more because of the icing threat. And there you can see some of the spots that could get two inches or even three inches of snow. So your forecast for tonight quiet. We'll find those flurries up to the north in Oswego County wrapping up. Otherwise clearing and cold down into the single digits and some spots could actually be closer to zero. Fading sunshine tomorrow morning early. Snow develops in the afternoon with a wintry mix in the evening. As we go into Thursday 43 that's early in the day in the morning we'll find temperatures falling. So early rain showers, then some scattered flurries, breaks of sun. Early flurries on Friday, otherwise we're quieting down as we head into Saturday. The big Duke game, 41 with partial sunshine. Saturday evening could be a wintry mix. Rain showers, and how about that, 50s on Sunday, guys.